Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a homeschooling or home educating mum of three in the UK. And it's lovely to see you after the, the Chessington videos um, last week, or video, I don't think the other one's up yet. Um, and yeah, we're back to another home educating video, homeschool video, home education video, whatever you want to call it, whatever you call it. It's all the same thing at the end of the day. I am going to try and do this in one go rather than edit it to oblivion because I'm not feeling it today, but I've got a really interesting topic to talk about. Um, I get lots of questions about oh, how do I do this and how do I do that and I'm kind of working through them all. So today we're talking about how to design your own unit study um, and I've kind of, I've written a list. I am going to put it on the website as a downloadable resource so you can, um, you can read it. Sorry about that, had to sneeze. Um, yeah, it's going to be on the website um, for you to download and kind of work through by yourself. Um, oh, for goodness sake. One sec. Oh, they're mowing the grass outside the council and that's why I'm sneezing. Anyway, designing your own unit study. Um, so number one is decide on your topic. Now this one was reasonably simple for me. I just sit down and I talk to my children um, and find out what they want to learn about because this is the part of their home ed they have complete control over. So when I sat down yesterday with Charles and said, okay, I'm doing this video, we're actually going to do the unit study um, as well, but I'm filming my preparation for it. It's your turn to decide what would you like to learn about. And he thought for a minute and he said, London, I want to learn about London, which if you know your geography is our capital city here in the UK. Um, we haven't spent a lot of time there in our lives just because we're kind of country folk. Um, we just prefer to be in the countryside. Um, and I think that's probably why he's curious because he's probably only been there maybe twice in his life. And I don't think he remembers going either time. Um, he may have only been once and I doubt he remembers it because it was before Albert was born. So he's quite curious about London. And when it's a bit safer, I think we will take him. We'll take all of them. So that's, that was really easy. He decided London as our topic. Obviously you might want to choose other things or your children might want to choose other things, but the process still applies. So number two is select your educational resources. So I have loads of different resources that I use for unit studies and it might just be Googling it. Sometimes it's Wikipedia, sometimes it's the BBC website, other times it's blogs from other homeschoolers, like you name it. A Google search is literally all I do. It's the first thing I do is a Google search. And um, the, but today I'm going to be using Odizzy or Odizzy and Twinkle. I know I talk about Twinkle a lot. If you haven't got a membership, they do have a discount running at the moment. The membership that I have is from is down from like over a hundred pounds to seventy pounds for an annual annual membership. Um, it's also only nine ninety nine as a monthly membership. It's really good value. I'll also have a look for YouTube videos or maybe children's programs where they visit London um, just to kind of point out landmarks and, and talk about the capital city. Um, so here's a little clip of me having a look at some resources on Twinkle and Odyssey. Okay, so number three is choose appropriate crafts. Now you don't have to do this if it's not, you're not a crafty family, but we are, we really, really like crafts. And I think a craft is, makes a, hand, a topic become hands-on and really kind of come alive. Um, on Twinkle, there were loads of crafts um, that f kind of fit all sorts of topics, you know, anything really. And I found this one, I think Charles will love. Um, the biggest issue is going to be him deciding which one to make. Um, here is um, 
a little clip of me finding it um, and you can see the resource is really really easy to download. So the next one, number four, is plan a field trip if appropriate. Obviously, if we were not in COVID-19 times, then we would try and fit in a day trip to the capital city, to London, and maybe go and look at a couple of those landmarks, maybe do something like the Natural History Museum or something like that. Take a bus tour around the landmarks and then get off somewhere, do that do the bus tour back to the station and then come home again or spend the night and do two days there or something like that there's reasonably easy ways to make that doable um however at the moment neither me or my husband feel like it's safe for us to go to such a crowded city um just cities in general we're even avoiding our nearest city which is southampton we're kind of not really going there unless we're you know um, going to an open space and meeting somebody or something like that um yeah we're just not going to london at the moment so we we may i may do some like role playing with them like print off some oyster cards and like from again twinkle has loads of role play stuff so i might do like oyster card um role play and things like that and talk about the subway and and plan our field trip um some of the resources that um one of the resources i picked was also a tube map and I'm going to get him to plan out his journey so I'm going to get him to decide what places he would want to go I'm going to get him to research himself the nearest tube station and then plan our route around London on the tube my plan would then be when we go to London on the field trip that he would then direct us via the tubes um, this is something that I was taught to do by my parents when I was very young, probably a little, only a little bit older than Charles. Um, my mum was born and bred in Essex and, um, and went to London very regularly and she's something that she wanted us to have as a skill. I don't think, I think one of my, one of my siblings lives in London and my other two have never really been very often. Um, so i i'm the, i'm kind of the one who knows their way around out of the three that don't live there um and my i think my eldest brother probably mocks me slightly for my calculated way of getting round. like i plan my journey out really really well um so i know where i have to go where i have to get off and how many stops it is and all this kind of stuff but i charles really likes to feel in control when he's out and about and to ease his anxiety so I think that's going to be a really good um really good resource for him but I will use that when we go on the field trip eventually which hopefully will be next year it'd be really nice so number five is decide on the length of the study um if we were including a field trip I'd probably make it a week so we'd start learning about it at the beginning of the week and then maybe we'd go um in the middle of the week or something for the field trip and then kind of talk about it at the end of the week um you know we'd probably spend a day learning about London planning our trip and then spend two days doing all the things that we've been talking about but at this date we're just going to be at this point we're just going to be doing it for a day on our project day which um is Tuesdays now we're just going to be doing it for a day and just kind of going over it and if they want to do more on it then we can do it again and go more in depth so number six is gather your resources and let's go um so I printed all of my resources i've got some a3 paper glue scissors i've got writing and coloring pencils i'm gonna put them all out for the kids and now i need to go find charles um as i'm filming this he's not actually here so that would be difficult um but i'm gonna just kind of put it out in front of him and i'm gonna be like okay what do we do next obviously you've seen all the resources we've got like match-up cards of landmarks and facts we've got landmark maps we've got the tube map we've got the crafts We've got pictures with facts on, all things that he kind of is really going to enjoy. We can put them on the wall. And I'm going to encourage him to make a poster about his favourite landmark. And um, even find out how much it costs to go and see it and so on. So he will plan our trip to London. Um, I'm really excited to show this to him and I hope this has helped you design a unit study. Um, any resource is a good resource as long as it fits the topic. If you need any more advice on this or any more support, um, 
leave me a comment pop me an email my email is adventure all the way uk at gmail.com i do leave it in comments quite a lot and i always put it in the description so if you want to have a chat about a unit study or unit studies let me know um i am really really excited to announce that there is going to be a giveaway coming and that giveaway is going to be for a three month long twinkle subscription Ah, it's going to be coming in just a few weeks time so stay tuned there's going to be a Halloween craft video in partnership with Twinkle and you have a chance to win three months of a subscription so you can really get a feel of it and then hopefully make your uh, make your decision about whether you want to take out a Twinkle subscription too I'm really really excited um, to share that with you when it comes and I'm really glad that you um, have been here for this unit study talk um, tell, me, tell me what is your favourite unit study topic what are you thinking of doing what's your next topic that you're thinking of doing a project on and if you've got any ideas for us if there are any places where you live that you think would make a great unit study for me to share with the children let me know leave me a comment don't forget to do a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already I'm really glad you've stopped by and I can't wait to see you on Thursday bye